it's a classic story about good versus evil, but still every character in the film, all the principal actors, our characters there, you can't, you can't really tell if they're good or bad. They kind of have their own, you know, battle, you know, to see if, you know, what side they're on. And even Mother Malkin, who's the bad witch, you know, you get, they even tell her, tell us the story about her, what she come from, and that she got, you know, treated badly from, you know, the humans. And that's, you know, part of her journey to become that evil witch she is now. She doesn't really think that she belongs anywhere. She's very lonely. And in that loneliness, I think that she's become very strong. And, you know, um, she's very tough. And she's been playing on her, you know, sexuality and her wit and her, um, you know, ability of seeing people for what they are. Both Julia Moore and Jeff Bridges were cast in the film, and I mean, I've been looking up to those actors since I was a little kid, so that was amazing to meet them here at first. And um, Julia Moore, who I'm so happy I've, I've had quite many scenes with, she's so intense, uh, you know. Uh, in her work, she's, I mean, the eyes that she has when we're doing her scenes, she's like digging right through you and it's amazing to see that and she's still so humble and uh, she, you know, takes me under her wings and uh, it's been great working with her and to see Jeff on set, you know, he just transforms into his character and it's almost like I for weeks now, I've only met Master Gregory on set, uh, which has been amazing. Ben, uh, I have so much, fun, so much fun working with Ben. Um, we, uh, <clears throat> I mean, it was almost a year ago when we got the part, and uh, since then we've had so many rehearsals, and he is very, he, first of all, he's a very good actor, and we've been able to work very tight, you know, to find the right balance in the scenes, and he's also very funny. He brings a lot of humor to the set. Hey Lisa here with a cool movie fact. James Cameron's 2009 smash hit Avatar is one of the highest grossing films of all time and the film which single-handedly brought 3D back to mainstream cinema. But did you know that James Cameron actually originally planned for a 1999 release? The special effects he wanted increased the budget to 400 million, which at the time was pretty high, so it was shelled for eight years. This kind of explains his hiatus from filmmaking for so long. Imagine what it would have looked like if it was made 10 years previously. Download our Filmies Now app, available for both Android and iOS.